Hey, how are you guys doing? It is your boy Quinkin, and welcome back to episode number seven of season two of this Real Madrid career mode. Hopefully, you guys have been enjoying it. Man, I've been having a lot of fun uh, with this career mode, especially because it's my favorite team and because of the feedback and the interaction I've been having with you guys. It's been freaking awesome. But if you guys enjoy this video, please make sure to leave a like. It helps out a lot. Uh, for me to get a brand new audience to build this community and so that more people can go ahead and watch uh, my channel. A lot of you love my content and I feel like there would be other people that would love it uh, that much more. So go ahead, leave a like. It helps out a lot. And also if you're new, subscribe. I don't know if you're doing, if you're stumbling across my video and not subscribing, please make sure to subscribe with the notification bell on. Now let's get into the press conference and let's take a look at your questions. We didn't have a lot of questions, but you know what? It's all right. I'll answer the ones that you guys asked me. So EG Man has the first question and he wants to know whether or not we would sell or loan out Common Viga to give him more playing time. So we are in the transfer deadline day and we do have the ability to go ahead and either loan or sell Kamavinga. Now I'm not going to sell him. You know, he's been a great player and he's been playing very, very well. But because we're not going to be in any more competitions, we're just going to be playing in La Liga and in the Champions League. Kamavinga isn't going to get a lot of playing time and I feel like we're hindering his growth so I am going to put him on the loan list and I hope we get some offers for him and shell him out that way he can grow that much more and get that much more playing time. Thank you EG Man for your questions. I always see that you comment and I always appreciate that so thank you for your question. The second question is coming from Cool Drew and he wants to know if I can show him and you guys my manager record so far so let's take a look at the office and we're gonna take a look at my career so far in these two seasons overall we have 94 games played 71 wins 14 draws and 19 losses and I mean that is a spectacular record and most of it has to go because of the great players that we have and because of the great coaches that we have you guys have been helping me a lot in determining a formation who plays and that's been helping me a lot we have scored over 196 goals and conceded 88 so we basically score twice as much uh, as we concede and so that was just a quick view at my manager record and some other highlights uh, of my career so far and the final question of this press conference is going to come from Mohammed. he says he's a big Real Madrid fan he loves my content and his question is if I think that Real Madrid can win the UCL in like two or three years if Mbappe and Holland come to Madrid and he says who do you think will sign Ronaldo as Juve will want him to leave so the first question if we get Mbappe and Holland, can we win the UCL? Hell yeah, because Mbappe is a top goal scorer. Holland has already proven in like the last year and a half that he can score goals and he's prolific. So if we get those goal scorers and keep our great defense with Ramos and Varane, I hope Ramos renews his contract, by the way, because it's getting scary. Like we're getting close to January and this guy's not signing a contract. So, but if we have Mundi, Ramos, Varane, and Carvajal or San Hakimi, I feel like that defensive line is good enough with Courtois in goal, uh, Casemiro in the midfield, and then having Mbappe, Benzema, and Holland up top, that would be exceptional. And we should be able to win the Champions League. So yeah, if we get those players in two to three years, we should be able to win. To answer your second question, where do I think Ronaldo will end up? Uh, the news right now are saying that he could go to Manchester United, uh, but I honestly think that he's gonna finish his contract and he's probably gonna go either to a different league that he hasn't played in before, probably to France and play for PSG and try to win a league title there, or he's gonna go uh, to a team that he's already played for before, whether it's Sporting, Manchester, or Real Madrid. I'm hoping it's Real Madrid because he's still showing at the age of 35, I think he's 35, that he's still a top player. He can still score goals and he can still carry a team on his back. So. I'm hoping he comes to Real Madrid. And that concludes the press conference. Thank you so much for your questions. Make sure to leave your questions in the comment section down below. I'm going to try to answer all of them as quickly as possible. Let's now move on to the challenges that we have so far this season. For the first one, La Liga Breakers, we have 42 out of 121 goals in the league. We're doing pretty well. We are almost halfway there. 
Overtaking the BBC, we have 44 goals with Holland, Mbappe, and Cristiano out of 108. Uh, we need to beat that record set out by Bale, Benzema, and Cristiano uh, in their first season together. The third one, break CR7's UCL record. Ronaldo still has only 8 out of 18 matches because we haven't played any matches in the Champions League. Moving on to the next three challenges, we have conquering Man City. So far, we have 66 goals out of 145 in all competitions. For scoring defenders, we have 6 out of 10 because Marcelo and Carvajal scored a ton of goals in the previous episode and we only need 4 more goals to beat out that objective. The last challenge, the Messi league record, we have 15 out of 51 goals so far and the player who has scored those 15 goals is Erling Braun Holland and uh, he is getting closer and closer. I'm not sure he's going to be able to beat Messi's record, but he sure is uh, going to be the top goal scorer, I can assure you that. And so it is now time to get through this transfer deadline day. Uh, the only thing we are going to do is loan out players. I don't plan on selling anyone, but we do get an offer from Manchester City for $196 million for Keenan Mbappe. I'm going to reject this and I'm going to block offers because Mbappe is not going anywhere. He just came here. There's no way we're going to shell him out. And this is exactly what we were looking for. Juventus wants Kamavinga for two years and I'm going to accept it. That is very reasonable. And well, Kamavinga, that's a team where you can get, I think, more playing time because their midfield isn't as contested as it is here in Madrid because we just got too many players. Casemiro, Kroos, Odegaard, Asensio, Valverde. The list goes on and on. So hopefully he gets more minutes in Juve. And yeah, it is official. Kamavinga will be going to Juve. The loan is complete and we have only three hours left in this transfer window. If you guys want to see another episode tomorrow, make sure to smash over 60 likes and I will for sure take that out for you guys tomorrow and so with the transfer window closed we're now going to take a look at the top deals uh, from this transfer window obviously holland coming to real madrid for over 186 million and didi makes his way to arsenal for over 130 million uh depay goes to dortmund verati goes to liverpool so they now have diago they now have verati and uh, I mean, their midfield is getting a lot better. We signed Hakimi from Inter. Awad made his way to Atletico de Madrid. Wow, for 99.4 million. Pogba, we know he went to Barcelona. And uh, wow, Obama Yang going to Leicester City. Wow, that is a crazy uh, signing for them. We have Benzema going to United. Uh, Zakaria actually going to Spurs. And Dembele or Endombele going to Bayern. Uh, so, wow, actually, in this career, Mortejas isn't in Man United. He goes to Arsenal instead. So, uh, a bit of changes in this transfer window. And quickly, before we get into this game versus Valencia, I do want to show you guys the schedule that we do have for today's episode. So, we are going to play this game versus Valencia because I think they're in sixth place in the league. So, I want to face them. Also, we're going to be facing Inter in the knockout stages, round of 16 of the Champions League. And then we're going to top off the episode playing the second leg versus Inter. And that will be the episode. The rest of the matches, we are going to sim. And I'll make sure to show you guys the results. And guys, let's take a look at our starting 11. We're going to have Courtois and goal, Ramos, Varane, Hakimi on the right. Monday is going to come back in. Odegaard and Casemiro will be the two center mids. We're going to have Asensio starting on the right, Hazard on the left. And then we're up top. We're going to have Mbappe and Jovic. So, Holland was tired. Ronaldo was tired. Valverde was tired. So, that is why I rotated the team heavily because our players weren't at 100%. But I have faith in all these players and their sharpness is high. So, I'm not scared at all. So, they have the fake Suarez. That's, that's the guy that uh, I thought was Luis Suarez, but it's not him. It's actually another player. And he is able to cross the ball. And they're able to almost score, bro. I thought that was going to go in. Condogbia, who isn't playing for Valencia in real life anymore. I think he made his way to Atletico de Madrid. Almost got a header in. Oh, what a long ball. Varane is going to have to track back. He has the pace to get on it. And Ramos intercepts it. Our ball once again. And uh, let's control the ball here, Casemiro. It's going to be Asensio getting the start in this game. A nice run over here from Luka Jovic, who has been a very good player, you know. A good role player. Every time he comes on, he does something good. And uh, that's why I like to see. Mbappe is all by himself. It should be a goal. And it is. Mbappe able to score in the 14th minute. It's just too easy for me. Valencia is no competition whatsoever for us. And man, I like this celebration. It's getting up and close with the players. Uh, but I mean, this is just an easy play. We pass the ball inside. We're dragging all the defenders. Mbappe gets free. And uh, I think that's his seventh goal in the league. It is. I am getting so good memorizing their stats, man. Free kick for Valencia. They do a short one. And look at Mundi. He wins the ball. 
Let's go, Mundy. You got the pace. You should be able to beat everyone right here. Let's go, Mundy. Let's go. Let's go. Oh, look at the pace on Mundy. Oh, my God. It's incredible. It's incredible, Mundy. Oh, we still have a chance. Come on. Fernandez. Fernandez is on it. The shot. Courtois controls it. And I think Courtois has been doing better. He hasn't been conceding as many goals. And he's been getting a lot of clean sheets. Five minutes left in the half. Might sim the rest of the match. Just because I feel like it should be an easy one for us now since we're leading. Mbappe's in. And if Mbappe scores, it's done. I'm going to sim the rest of the match. Mbappe is just so clinical, bro. Who got the assist? Was that Jovic? Yeah, I think it was Jovic with the assist. Either him or Asensio. Yeah, no, it was Jovic. Oh, man, but dude, he can finish it with his left foot. Look at that power, man. Silicon couldn't do anything. Oh, what a run. What a run. Oh, let's go. Asensio gets on the freaking sheet. Yes, it's 3-0. And, man, Asensio wanted that goal before the half was over. He wanted it. He made the run from midfield. He did the sacrifice, and look at that finish. Such a beauty. And, yeah, we're just going to sim the rest of the match. We're winning by three goals. I was already planning on simming it after winning by one, but we were able to get two goals after that fact. And now we're winning 3-0. And we're just going to take a look, watch along, see what happens, see if we can keep a clean sheet. And I'm also going to make some changes uh, to our team and let some players get some minutes. But so far, we're winning, and I love to see us with such a good result. Oh, let's go. Yes, Mbappe with a hat trick. <laughs> good job, Kylian. I think that's his first hat trick of this season. Come on, boys. One minute left. Hold on to that clean sheet. Let's go. Yes, we're able to win. 4-0, we get 3 points, and the changes I did make was I put in Rodrigo for Mbappe, uh, Kroos came in for Casemiro, and that was pretty much it. Mbappe already scored a hat-trick, so I just rested him for the rest of the game. Let's move on now to again versus Real Sociedad, and let's see whether or not we can win. And so I had to rotate the squad heavily because we're facing Inter in 3 days time. On the right-hand side, you can see the team that I selected. We're able to win 3-0, Asensio scoring twice. Hazard as well, he played up top with Holland, so we're able to get an important three points, and now it is time to get into this game versus Inter de Milan. We're facing them once again, we faced them a lot in the previous season, and we faced them this season for the uh, UEFA Super Cup, and now it is time to face them in the round of 16 knockout stages. If you're curious to see the other teams in the round of 16 and their fixtures, these are it right here, Man City are facing Juve, that's an incredible game. Atletico are facing Spurs. You have Bayern facing Barcelona. So let's see if Barcelona could get the revenge. The other teams are PSG against Borussia Mönchengladbach. That should be an easy game for Paris. Uh, Lazio, the team that made it to the finals last season in the UCL, are facing Villarreal. So the first place team from La Liga will be facing them. And we have Olympique Lyon facing Liverpool. Dortmund facing Chelsea. Let's now get into game versus Inter. And these are going to be the potential lineups for this game. Let's take a look at Inter. They're going to have Lautaro, Martinez, and Veghorst up top. Christian Eriksen is still with Inter playing as a cam. They got Dani Ceballos. Yeah, I forgot that we sold them uh, to Inter. Uh, they got Nico Barella, Lazaro, Gedesh on the left, Acerbi with Handanovic in goal. This is our team right here. Holland and Ronaldo up top. Mbappe will be on the right. Hazard on the left. We got Odegaard, Valverde, and then we also got Mundi, Ramos, Varane, and Carvajal on the defensive line. So Holland will be playing one of his first games in the UCL. I haven't really used him here because I've been using him a lot in the league. But I think I need him for this game versus Inter. And honestly, looking at that defensive line from Inter, honestly, it doesn't look as good as it looked last season with Skriniar, with Diego Godin. So I think... This should be a pretty easy game for us, but you never know. They got Lautaro Martinez, a great striker who has scored a lot of goals on us before. So we have to be careful, but I think we can win this even if it's away in the San Siro. Valverde covers the ball. It's going to be Dani Carvajal. Nice run. Let's go Mbappe. Mbappe's in. He's going to cover the ball here. He passes it off. It's going to be Cristiano Ronaldo trying to find Holland. I see the run from. It's going to be Mundi. Oh, and it goes out for a corner. Let's look for that near post. Cristiano Ronaldo. Oh, very, very close opportunity from the top goal scorer in the UCL. Oh, man. What a shot. Oh, it goes wide. And, man, it has been 50-50 so far against Inter. They're actually playing very well. Carvajal, come on. You need to cover that. Gonzalo Gech versus Carvajal. 
They leave it in. They leave it in. The shot. Great save, Courtois. Man, Inter are knocking at the door. If we keep this up, Inter's going to freaking score on us. Oh, good defense, Varane. Man, what is happening with our team? We're not playing well right now, dude. Inter are playing very well, man. Don't worry. I'm going to change things up. We're going to crack this defense in the second half. Having Holland in the game somehow is not working out. So Mbappe is going to be the one to take his spot as a striker. Holland will have to come out. And we're going to put in Vinicius. I feel like we need to put him in. We need more pace on the wing. And Mbappe and Ronaldo are too lethal to not score. So let's do that. Gonzalo Gage. Good defense. Let's go. Let's go. Carvajal with Vinicius. This is what we need. We need attack from the wings, bro. We need attack from the wings. Vinicius. Ah, oh, I could have done a through ball there. Mbappe, nice ball over, Martin Odegaard, oh man, they caught up to him somehow, dude. They're in, yes, good D, good D. Come on, Mbappe, Ronaldo, I need you guys. Vinicius on the wing, let's go, man, this is a counter I needed. This is what I need. Ronaldo, no, Vinny, you can't complete a pass, dude. You can't complete a simple pass, man. Oh my god, dude, I'm getting so frustrated right now. Oh my god, look at Lautaro. Let's go, come on. Carvajal, good job, dude. We have 10 minutes. We have 10 minutes, dude. 10 minutes. Come on. Mbappe, I need you to go in, dude. Oh, Vinny, 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 Vinny. Ronaldo's in. Ronaldo, please, let's go. Oh my god, no, it's Hazard. Yes! Man, dude, I was getting so freaking frustrated with this game, dude. Like, everything we were doing was not working. Nothing was working at all. And we finally get this counter-attack. And it's going to be Hazard, the main man. He gets the goal. It's not Ronaldo. It's not Mbappe. It's Eden Hazard. So I did make some changes right now. Odegaard is moved to the wing now. He's going to be playing on the right wing. Hazard is going to come out. I had the changes ready, so I couldn't, you know, switch him out anymore. Uh, Marcelo will be coming out for Monday. Uh, I felt like we needed to attack more, so I'm putting in Marcelo. Uh, but we got the goal now, so I feel like that was kind of a mistake. But Casemiro is uh, in that defensive mid role next to Valverde, so we have good defense there. The ball's in. Carvajal, take it out. Can we go on another counter? No, we cannot. Ronaldo couldn't pass it, but it's not over, though. Valverde on the ball. It's going to be Vinicius, who moves on the freaking right now. Oh, and man, dude, that defender. I don't know who he is, but bro, he's been on me the whole game. But man, that away goal was so important because now we can calm down. We have an away goal at least. We have an advantage going into the second leg at home. But man, hopefully Cristiano can score because we need him to go ahead and break his UCL record. He hasn't been able to score yet, but it is not over. Let's get into the second game. Now, before we get into the game versus Osasuna, let's take a look at how we're doing in the standings. We are still in second place. We're still trailing Villarreal by one point. And uh, let's take a look. Who are they facing? Villarreal is facing Sevilla. So they could possibly drop out on some points here. This is our chance to capitalize and get first place. Come on, we have to win. We have to do it. Yes, we win 4-0. Ronaldo scored, Hakimi scored, and then we have Ronaldo scoring again, and then Hazard. So Hazard has been doing really, really well in these last couple of games, and we get these important three points. Let's see if Villarreal were able to drop on some points. And damn, they don't drop points. They were able to beat Sevilla. Come on, Sevilla. What are you guys doing, man? You guys are getting lower and lower in the freaking table, and you're giving easy wins to Villarreal. Come on. Our next game is versus Real Betis, and we're going in with our best starting 11. We went 3-0. Rodrigo came on as a sub and actually scored. Mbappe and Carvajal adding to the tally. This is the last game we are going to save before the match versus Inter de Milan versus Alaves. And we win 2-0. I don't know why it says 3-0 in aggregate if this is a league game, but whatever. Uh, EA fixture game. Varane, we were able to score with him and Hazard. And now, let's finally get into the game versus Inter de Milan. But before we do, let's take a look at the other teams and their fixtures. And let's see who's winning in those games. So, this is how things are looking. Juve and Man City tied 0-0. Spurs is losing so far versus Atletico de Madrid. And Barcelona were actually able to win in their first leg. 3-1 versus Bayern. That is a very, very big surprise. PSG obviously uh, are beating Borussia Mönchengladbach. Lazio have been able to beat Villarreal in the first leg. And you have Liverpool destroying Olympique Lyon. Chelsea and Dortmund are drawing so far.
And one more thing before we get into that game, we're going to change Valverde into a defensive mid. So there we go. He's able to play as a center defensive mid as well. And let's put him to have better defending. So we're going to give him the ball winning midfielder. That way in the future, he can take that role away from Casemiro. And I had to put a lot of thought into the team I wanted to choose versus Inter de Milan. Uh, so this is what I came up with. I'm have Ronaldo and Mbappe up top together pairing up. Vinicius will start this game alongside Odegaard who I think is an important essential part of this team. Valverde and Casemiro as the two anchors right here. Then you have Hakimi on the right coming in for Carvajal. We need to attack more on the wings. So that's why I put him in. And then we got Mundi on the other side. So this is it. This is the team. Let's get this done. Let's get through to the quarterfinals of the Champions League. And if Inter de Milan are able to play like they were in the first leg, this is going to be pretty difficult. I'm not going to lie. Gonzalo Gitch. Oh man, okay. Come on, Hakimi. You got the pace, bro. Good job, Varan. You read it like a freaking champ. Casemiro, horrible pass. Horrible. Oh, what a ball. Courtois, you need to come out. Great job. No, it's still there. Just someone take it out. Oh my god. It's going to be a corner, isn't it? That could have been so bad, man. Such a freaking mistake like that. They're getting close, boys. Odegaard, what a ball to Chris. Let's go in now, let's go. Valverde is in. Oh, Vinicius, you're in! Oh, Vinicius, bro! You still gotta work on your shooting, man. What the hell was that? Oh, let's go. Mbappe, all by himself. Ronaldo, get in! Ronaldo! Chris! Oh, man, this inter defense. It is so tight, man. That's a fall, that's a fall. Free kick, free kick, let's go. Give me the free kick. We're gonna let Ronaldo take it. Cristiano. Cristiano Ronaldo with the free kick. 21 yards out. Let's see if he still has it. Let's see if Cristiano Ronaldo! Oh man, it just goes wide. Oh, let's see the replay. Look at this, it goes over the freaking barrier nicely, but it just goes wide, man. Vinicius, yes, Vinny, Vinny, put it in, oh, what a save from Handanovic, bro, what a save, Cristiano, oh, that's a foul, dude, give him a red card, he completely flipped, Cristiano, we're gonna let Ronaldo take it again, man, I, I think I got this, I got it this time, bro, I got it this time, I got it, oh, I might, I might have not put in a lot of power on it, oh, what a save, what, bro, I have to see a replay, I have to see a replay, dude. What the hell just happened here, dude? Look at this. What the hell? Vinny's in now. Vinny's in. No, bro. Come on. That could have been the chance. Oh, man. Okay. We're playing good. We're playing good. But the goals aren't coming. Inter they're doing spectacular Handanovic is keeping them in the game I feel like we should have scored in that first half but Inter really have been defending well and their freaking goalkeeper Handanovic has been having a great game so we got to try and crack this defense we have a goal lead but I mean Inter can score at any time and that's what scares me so let's try to get that goal to patent our lead so we got the ball here Valverde is on it Oh, what a ball to Mbappe. Mbappe's through. Mbappe cuts in. Mbappe with the finesse. Oh, come on, Kylian. I needed you to score that. Oh, man, it just went wide. It just went wide, too. Look at that. Oh, man. No, 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 no. Courtois, come out. Come out. What a save. No. Dude, just take it out. Take the ball out. Courtois should win it. Bro, I have no words about what just happened there. Dude, Vinicius, what kind of pass is that, bro? You're out of here. You are out of here. You can't complete one single pass, dude. That just pissed me off, man. Get the hell out of here. You're doing bullcrap, man. All right, Hazard, you're going to come in. And Casemiro, I feel like he hasn't really done much. So he's going to come out. Uh, Odegaard's going to come here as center mid. And we're going to put my man Asensio on the right. Oh, I'm frustrated, dude. I am frustrated right now. 
I mean, Ronaldo keeps it, though. Great job, Ronaldo, man. That's why I like about his big build, dude. He can hold the ball good. Mbappe. Good ball over. Odegaard, I need you. No. No. Oh, my God, dude. Five minutes left. I don't think we're going to score. Let's just try to hold on to this lead. There we go. There we go. Yes. It's almost over. Oh, can we get an attack? Let's go. Dude, this could be it. Asensio's in. Asensio to Cristiano. Cristiano. Oh, he missed. <laughs> Ronaldo, that could have been your ninth goal, bro. Damn, but man, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. We, we go through to the quarterfinals and I have to admit, Inter Milan, they were a worthy opponent. They made me just try my best and I couldn't score no matter what I did but the good thing is that we were able to win and get a goal in the first leg and even though we drew at home it was enough to get through to the quarterfinals let's go man man that was a hard game and now we know the first group of teams that will be going through to the quarterfinals obviously we beat Inter so we're going through uh, Manchester City were able to win on away goals so they're gonna go through to the quarterfinals we see Atletico de Madrid beat Spurs and they're going through as well and then Bayern are eliminated and Barcelona are going through their teams are in contention right now are PSG and Borussia Mönchengladbach a Lazio might beat Villarreal and Liverpool for sure will go through it's, it's pretty close between Chelsea and Dortmund but this is the end of the video if you guys enjoyed it make sure to leave a like remember if you get 60 likes on this video I will upload a new video tomorrow so make sure to slap a like that way we can get that upload in for you guys also leave a comment down below for any questions that you guys have for me that I can answer in the next episode as well as subscribing if you are new but i'm quicken see you guys next time